now that the bodies are sorted, the next uh, next couple three days are going to be all about the neck. S necks, more than one neck. Three. Remember, there's three. Can't. There's three guitars. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So, uh, not much more to say about it than that. Uh, so I'm not gonna. Let's just get started. All right, I've got my maple neck blanks, my lovely spalted tamarind fretboards, my spoke truss rods, and my neck template. Right now I'm making sure I know exactly where I need to stop the cut on the router. That'll be the outside of the bit. I always make the very end of my neck at the 23rd fret. And in this case I'm using the 25 and a half inch fender scale because I like it. So I'm going to mark where my nut goes, right? That's my nut. All right, let me explain what I'm doing here because it might be helpful. So I've got my center lines marked on all the blanks and they're all exactly the same distance, two inches from the fence to the center. That's going to be seen thusly. I've got my dummy proof. <laughs> Put this side to the fence. The one with the arrow is the one that's on top. And I've already lined up the center of the bit to the center line and locked the fence in place. So now I have a little piece of tape right at the width of the bit the outside width because that's where I'm going to want to stop and then I put my square right up against the put my square right up against the bit and I put a little tiny mark which looks like it's really far away right there and the width of a lead so the nice thing is, is I've got these two groovy stops on here. Sometimes for a neck, I can't use them because it goes too far. I'd actually have to build a longer fence, which I still may do at some point. But what I can now do is lower that bit down. Slide the wood. So my stopping line matches exactly the outside of the bit. And then that down first pass is always just the slightest of cuts I just want to make sure that the cut is on the center line and if it's not I can adjust without really causing too much of a headache perfect now just time to cut them to death All three are routed, but now I gotta make a little recess for 
the barrel end of the spoke. And as it so happens, my little 3 8 inch bearing bit is exactly the right width. So leaving the fence where it is, I'm gonna pull the truss rod bit out, put that in there, and then just route ever so slightly. I don't need that anymore. Oh, actually, I did. Huh. No, I don't, because it's a different one. Never mind. And then I'll just go in as far as I need to take care of that little gap. So, I don't want to go any farther than that. Eh, we'll go about there. We'll go about there. Got my three fretboards. I'm checking the sides to see which one I, you know, which side should be the fretted side. And I think on this one, I mean, yeah. Plane them down to a quarter of an inch so they'll fit underneath the pin. part always makes me nervous. There we go. I'm gonna take a bit of this recording of that lawnmower and I'm gonna do something fun with it rhythmically in a song. In the interest of trying something new on these, I'm going to drill my tuning machine holes before I cut it out. Um, I don't know if that really makes a whole lot of difference, but I think it'll be uh, easier to have them already drilled than to cut the thing out, thickness the, uh, the headstock, and then try to place my template again. I suppose I could do something crazy like place the template on the back. Hmm. Oh, that's for the next time. <laughs> yeah, that would be easy, wouldn't it? So there's a technique that I use that might be worth sharing uh, for those of you that suffer from some of the same visual issues I do. So I've got an astigmatism. And uh, since I was a kid, uh, apparently my depth perception, I don't see 3D the way you guys do. Um, I know how far away the camera is. I know how far away this is. But it's apparently something I've learned over the years versus something that uh, I just see naturally. So the point is, even with my little laser pointer, which seems to be pretty close, I'm not always positive from this angle that I'm getting the, the drill bit in exactly the right spot for my, my hole. And you know, so I'm doing this and I'm doing that. So one thing I've started doing, and it's probably mm, questionable. So, you know, take this as you will with a grain of salt and, and don't do anything that, you know, don't try this at home, I guess. But what I do is I raise my piece up get the business end of the brad point bit into the hole and then just push the work down to the table and hold it there not with the bit in but just with that point and then i flip on the machine and drill the hole I'm trying something new again with how I cut my necks out. I'm gonna measure the thickness of the headstock, which I'm doing at 1930 seconds, a little more 9 16 to less than 5 8 And then I'm gonna just cut down to, probably right here, right down to the, the widest part of the headstock, and then just back it out. That way, 
I'll still have my template lines because I'm not going to cut this piece off yet. I hope that makes some kind of sense. How about if I just do it? So far, so good. I'm getting ready to put my registration pins in. There it is. Three necks glued up. I'm prepping the necks. <clears throat> Well, actually, I'm doing a little more prepping the necks. They're partially prepped. Uh, I'm binding the necks. Doing black on one of them and white on two. Why? Because that's what I've got. I want to show you something that uh, the, the way that I put the plastic binding on my necks these days to avoid getting glue into the fret slots as much as possible and it seems to work pretty well. I run a bead right down the little ledge, just a very thin bead, got it between each foot. So the process I'm going through right now is I'm cutting up these little quarter inch aluminum pipes into little short segments which are going to be the receptacles for the uh, resin or CA glue and mica. Probably CA glue this time, it's a little easier. As you can see here, I failed to record the bit about the CA glue and mica, but that's what I did. Although there's no snow, winter is clearly here. I ran out of 70 degree days. But as you can see, we got a lot of stuff done. I'll call that the end of this video. So as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. And um, next up, we're gonna get the bodies ready for finish, really. Just gotta, but there's a lot to do because this wood's kind of messy, as you have seen. If you watched any of my other videos, this ash is lovely, lovely stuff, but man, it's a mess, so much needs to be done. So that's what we'll do next time. Right now we're what, just shy of 30 hours? And um, I could see that being halfway done. Let's see, let's see, we should do a pool. How many hours will it take? Um, leave a estimate in the comments. See you next time.